I never thought in my 73rd year that I'd be sitting here in Cannes with a film coming out. To be honest with you, I was blown away. Um, I was very moved. I, I, I cried the first time I saw it, and I cried a lot this time. It was a wonderful experience, and I echo Elton's feelings 100%. I mean, it was very emotional. There were a couple of scenes in it where, you know, I was, I was quietly sobbing, to be quite honest. Um, I knew Taron could sing, and as soon as I met him, um, I felt that there was something special there. And when I first heard him sing Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me, I was flabbergasted. I went, God, this is so difficult to sing. This is just as good as my version, really. There are some very, very dark moments in the movie. And you feel, but the music lifts it out of the darkness. And the music, you know, it's, and he's done, not only did he have to perform my life, mm. he had to sing my life. And that's a double whammy. And when I look at him singing, and when I look at him acting, I am not looking at Taron Edgerton, I'm looking at me. And so that's what moves me. It's like, this is me here. One of the magic things about the film is that you really, really believe that these two characters, it's them against the world initially, and then they go along for the ride. Mm. I'm very, very proud of this movie. I'm very proud of my life. I'm proud of him. And I mean, our songs do have a cinematic quality yeah. to them. They're, they're, they're stories. You don't imagine a movie being made about your life. You, you, I think you imagine that they usually do that about people who have passed away, and luckily we're still around <laughs> to appreciate it, you know?